Hello, my name is Anson. Today I will introduce surprising reptiles, Taiwanese tree lizards. Before we start, let's watch an interesting video. It is interesting. It moves so fast that I can catch it. I want to introduce Taiwanese tree lizards for three reasons. First, it is a lizard native to Taiwan. It is very common, but many Taiwanese do not really know about it. Second, it appeared in Japan and became a Japanese alien species. Last, we found exotic lizards affecting ecology and threatening their survival, such as iguana iguana, fixing nests, causing sinus, nicknamed Chinese water dragon, and annual cigarette. That's why I mentioned this creature. There are five tree lizard species in Taiwan. Diprotoma sunhomis, Diprotoma polygonatum, Diprotoma makai, Diprotoma brevapis, Diprotoma lue. Generic name Diprotoma means tree lizard. And their specific epithet means they are feature of who found this reptile. For example, Diprotoma sunhonis is a person called Robert Sunha. He found this lizard, so the kind of lizard called Diprotoma sunhonis. And another sample is Braver Peace means short legs. But today we will focus on Diprotoma sunhonis because it is the most common tree lizard in Taiwan, and their nickname is called Sunhonis tree lizard. I used to raise a male Diprotoma sunhonis. The color of the body was dark brown, and its most distinctive feature is the yellow line on its body sides. You can see many white spots on its chin. It is a way to defend the male or female by their chin. The spots are appearance when it is a male, not appearance when it is a female, so this lizard is a male. In this picture, we can see that its size is 18 cm. Its eggs are very tiny. They are as small as a rice. They are carnivores. Their food is some bugs, such as crickets and cockroaches. They don't eat vegetables. There is an interesting habit in Diprotoma sunhonis. When they see their predators or other lizards, they will do push-ups. It makes them look bigger. And where can we find these amazing reptiles? They live at elevation under 1500 meters. Actually, we can find them in schools, parks, and among any surrounding trees. Those pictures were taken from the National Museum of Natural Science. Where there are tree lizards represent a rich ecology. We should protect tree lizards properly before they are on the brink of extinction. And all species should be like that. We should not feed or purchase any alien species. If you want to feed any alien species, you will have to continue feeding them until they die. Those are where I found information. You can scan QR code on screen and get more information on those websites. Thank you for listening.